Well, my epilepsy started when I was 12 years old at uh, quite a shocking moment when um, I um, started, a, had a seizure in school and um, it went quite um, difficult lately and I've uh, never stopped having seizures since. So I've tried lots of uh, pharmaceutical drugs and um, none of them reduced my seizures. Uh, a treatment called Kenergetic Diet um, reduced my seizures when I was uh, 35. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the only thing that's reduced my seizures since. I've had lots of um, difficult moments um, during, <laughs> and brilliant moments as well, because um, there's been lots of um, reactions mixtures of reactions when um, people get very shocked of um, epilepsy and falling on the, the street so um, but um, a lot of people have been very helpful with it and um, I've created lots of lots of friends through it because um, well you have to talk just talk and um, open the door basically of um, how you're going to deal with epilepsy so um, I did lots of speeches through university and college just to raise awareness of um, epilepsy mm -hmm. of her, and um, I ran a juggling group with my brothers to um, which um, has been very helpful um, because um, they've brought um, out some research recently about how much juggling helps your memory so and that's obviously quite a difficult thing with um, epilepsy that um, you lose quite a lot of memory well a lot of people do a short-term memory or long-term memory and um, so doing little things juggling around and lots of fun things and just keeping yourselves up in life and um, I got a 2-1 degree in drama um, as well I've also felt that with my um, granddad being um, disabled, he lost his leg when he was nine years old, mm -hmm. that I was almost trained before I became disabled because right. he was a musician and um, created a career for himself dancing around the stage without one leg. So I always thought, well, if he can do it with one leg, I can do it with epilepsy. So, you know, it's mm -hmm. um, you've got to have that kind of approach with these kinds of things even if people have difficult <laughs> don't know how to approach mm. why, why do you think people find epilepsy so difficult and before that tell us the frequency of your um, fitting how, how often does it happen how many episodes do you have over what period or don't isn't it predictable i have at least um tonic clonics at least um every fortnight um and um the myoclonic seizures come along with stress and so they come and go and um, it's not really, you can't really understand um, where they're coming, mm. unfortunately, which is one of the most difficult things with my epilepsy that um, they aren't predictable. So they're very shocking for a lot of people. But, um, and um, there are difficult situations with religions and, um, because a lot of people, um, it's hard to say, but it's, um, I got um, exercised in university because a couple of girls wouldn't um, be with me because when I did a speech about trying to raise awareness about uh, epilepsy, they um, thought that I was the devil incarnate. And um, um, so you, did, you don't really think that that's going to happen in this day and age, but when it actually happens to you, it, it's um, very shocking and um, can be demoralizing, but all you can do is say, well, if the, they've got a bigger problem than I have, so let's carry on with life and carry on with and try and hold a, um, try and hold a um, cheerful life and create a career for it for yourself so what advice would you give to people who've newly newly acquired epilepsy newly acquired um i would say 
try and um, make sure that you've um, researched your medication and um, looked through the medication that they are recommending for you and try and keep a um, healthy body as, as well as um, those sorts of um, pharmaceutical drugs that are very hard to deal with. Because with my first pharmaceutical drugs, they made me very ill and um, um, it didn't, it was very difficult to actually deal with because there was a lot of bu bullying in school when um, I first started epilepsy um, because it's, which is kind of understandable and the teachers didn't know how to deal with it, but um, nor the um, nurse. My first um, seizure, my first diagnosis, I almost say, is um, listening to the nurse telling my parents off um, that uh, they hadn't told me that I was epileptic and I was almost tapping her on the back saying, hang on a second, <laughs> that's not me, that's not me. <laughs> mm. But you've almost, you have to um, just look through yourself everybody has uh, has those sorts of problems so okay. just and what what advice would you give to people if they experience someone having a seizure for the first time what should they do to help them should they just stand back or should they help them if, if very they... much so unfortunately it's very difficult to stand back and actually just watch the seizure unless they're in a difficult unless they've fallen on a diff, in a difficult accident during the seizure because um it's um, very difficult to actually watch. I mean, the, uh, the first time that I saw a seizure, it was so shocking for me even that I went into a seizure. Um, but um, at the Globe Theatre and um, it, but you all, you have to kind of, you have to just look through the, um, and um, assess if the person it has fallen on glass or has fallen on, down steps or any any sort of that sort of thing because there can be difficult ferocious things i mean i've broken a neck through at points when i had um, a tonic clonic seizure and that was only and that was in my bedroom so you know it's um it can be very dangerous there's no warning signs for me unfortunately um mm -hmm. like, absolutely none there's um it just comes on as um uh, as a click of a finger you know it's um I could have it as, as soon as I'm talking to you here and now and just go bash down. And, but luckily I've got a very um, big family where, and they all um, help um, and support through it. So, and uh, a lot of good friends that uh, understand epilepsy now because they've had to deal with it for so long. <laughs> right. You say you studied drama, you got your degree. Have you been able to take up any paid employment or is that one of the things that it's affected? It's very much affected it. I worked for a primary school for a little while, um, but um, had a bit of a difficult thing with um, the children. Um, but um, I haven't been able to, since that, um, create a um, paid um, career. I've, I've done lots of um, volunteer work, but um, a lot of people are with the, a lot of health, health and safety regimes, it's very difficult to, um, especially when with my type of epilepsy, with um, um, unpredictable epilepsy, it's very difficult when you can't say, hang on, this is happening right now, so. The organization is called uh, Recognition and um, my, point of um, starting that up is um, because a lot of invisible disabilities need um, a lot of support because there's a lot of shock and um, out there and lots of people just need to um, and that was one of the main problems with my epilepsy that um, a lot of the doctors I felt I got very depressed at points when the doctors said just kind of hide yourself away from society and I, I just thought you know I, I want to I want to live my life I want to do something and so just to create the support with um, autism with um, 
epilepsy, with it, diabetes, all of those sorts of things that can be very hidden, but um, but then at the same time and brittle bone, um, because my friend um, lost her hip, but just before we um, started um, uh, ended our course in, at university, and um, it's um, but it's a a very this, this dif, difficult thing to um, deal with um, and um, there just needs to be that support that to um, create life and um, and um, have an enjoyable life as well so not to um, encourage people to hide away from their disabilities and hide in the corner kind of thing just to kind of go out and um, do as much as they can and um, do something like juggling that that um, creates a cheerful lifestyle. Yeah. But have you, in the time you've had it, which is what uh, twenty three years, something like that, that, how have you noticed any change in attitudes of people, or are things the same or worse towards people with hidden hidden impairments? I call them impairments. The disability mm. is their attitude. But what what do you think? I would say there's a um, there hasn't been very much dis, uh, change, and it's almost got worse over with things um, getting um, <clears throat> with the uh, lockdown and everything. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got almost um, it's almost got worse um, because of um, paranoia mm -hmm. with um, health and safety regimes. So, um, but um, no, I haven't. Uh, it, not much has changed. Um, I almost look back on my granddad at, in 1921 with one leg dancing around the stage um, and kind of almost feel that it was almost better for him in, in that day and age because um, he um, because he, he had the chance to um, build a career in, as a musician and um, do all of that. So, but what? now, if I tried to, uh, when I tried to do a lot of the performances um, from drama school and things like that, um, there was a lot of stigma about it um, because of, um, well, because of health and safety regimes. And um, like I said, when I got exercised, I wrote a play about it and um, me and my friend uh, put, used it as a performance for um, our drama school degree. What should they tell people? Should they hide it or should they be open about it? Not, I, I would say no way it hide it. Just try and um, talk it through in a calm um, form with stigma and um, things like that. Um, but lots of people if you hide it then it creates more um shock to society so i would say just go out um talk it through pit with people um try and raise awareness and just in a calm fashion and there can be lots of um different difficult um reactions when you do talk it through even if you're, you're talking it through in a calm way but um Unfortunately, there are lots of people that are very scared of it and a lot of fear about things like that, but um, because they just don't know how to deal with it and there just needs to be more education about that um, sure. in lots of things and just admit to yourself that you don't know. I mean, I, I've had epilepsy since I was 12 years old and I still don't understand epilepsy because it's such a wide range of... Um, it's such a wide, wide, wide range of um, seizures and difficult um, things that it's almost individual to every every single person that has epilepsy. So.